Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Antonimo Bay. Um, we are taking a look today at a whole crap ton of Iron Man comics. Uh, 133 issues I bought. Um, these are out of the Widow's Collection. Um, as I've said in previous videos, this was a collector who passed away roughly 15 years ago. And his wife had been basically lugging these comics around the country as she moved. Um, and she sold them to me just to be rid of them. And I got a great deal on them. Gave her what she wanted. She took the money and bought teeth with them. And I ended up paying, I think, about 23 cents an issue for everything I got. Not everything was great. Not everything was in good shape. But I got a lot of stuff. So, uh, our guest action figures today, because we're looking at Iron Man, we've got Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator 2. He's about as iron as they get. And then we also have Red Arms 3PO from Star Wars. Black Series. Um, I'm just going to start burning through these because there's a lot of them. Um, this is, of course, some, some older stuff. Like I said, the guy died 15 years ago. So you kind of get a good idea of, of about when he stopped collecting it would have been early 2000s so we don't have anything newer from that from the series um but i've also got quite a bit of older stuff now i have a good feeling that a lot of the keys to all of this series is have been pulled out um but that doesn't mean that every stinking issue of iron man isn't worth 23 cents i mean you know it is it's they're they're just they're really beautiful covers Tony Stark. He's a big Avenger now. He's popular on movies. And some of these, like, like later bronze covers, man, they're so good. I, what Marvel was doing back then with their covers was just stellar. And I haven't seen as much good stuff from DC. And that's probably why I was always such a big Marvel guy. I just... The, the art just always sold me on that. And that is not the captain. That is U.S. agent. Don't try and fool me with your, your lies. <clears throat> anyway. Um, not familiar this far back with a lot of Iron Man. I know some newer Iron Man. I knew the booze storyline. But... Yeah, there's a lot of this that was like a blackout page for me. I wasn't invested. I wasn't involved. I was a huge Marvel kid growing up. Everything had to be Marvel or Ninja Turtles. And But I would say that most of my Marvel expertise was limited to uh, team books, specifically all the X books. I was a huge X-Men fan, huge X, X-Force, New Mutants, all that stuff. That was where I was at. That was where I was dropping my dough. And a lot of this Iron Man and Thor and Fantastic Four had more history than I was going to be able to get into at the time. And backtrack. That looks like a newer series. Low number. Looks like I got the first issue of it too. That's nice. Like I said, these, these are kind of just all mixed together. They were just, okay, all Iron Mans are going in this box. All Thors are going in that box. And... We've been slowly but surely trying to sort through these things. Um, I say we. My wife helped me the first week um, get these things all organized and pulled apart and cleaned up. But since then, it, it's kind of just been me sorting through them. Getting a little bit thick here, so I'm going to pull these down. Anyway, like I said, I wound up with 133 issues of Iron Man. That's cool. I love that cover. And I could tell just by looking um, through the range of... Uh, oh, yes, MODOK. And he's dead. Um, the suits change so much from cover to cover. I just love that about, about this character. Um, goes from one to another... To a different one. I don't know what that is. Okay, this is a thing that Marvel used to do that I always liked. 
center character, and then floating heads. Usually looking disapprovingly. That's like a Marvel, that's a thing that we did back then a lot that I see. We got War Machine. If you guys are familiar with War Machine, I'm sure, because he's, he's in the movies, but I got a video about all the War Machine comics I got. I think I got a complete run of those and was super happy with those. Also got those from the Widow's Collection. Um, not sure who that is on that cover. A couple more issues from that newer series. I don't remember exactly when that was launched. Um, I know it was about the time I was collecting, but I can't remember when that was exactly. I want to say like late 90s, early 2000s. This other series came out. And it's when Marvel relaunched a lot of their titles. That's got a really bad spine roll to it. it. Looks like I got a pretty good, pretty good run of those. But here's the ones that I really like. It's the old stuff. That's what's got the best covers. That's what's got the most interesting art. Oh, you'll have to forgive my slight sniffing here. I've... Oh, there you go. Heroes Reborn. I forgot. 1998. I knew it was probably late 90s. That's a really cool cover. I like that. That is, that is wacky. Carnival of Death. Um, I also like that cover because Santa Claus is armed. That's always good stuff. There's another one from the newer. See, this I don't get, because it's got issue 48, but it's also got issue 393. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't. I had phased out of Marvel by that point. At least all of the Heroes Reborn stuff. I kind of avoided it like a plague. And I don't, I don't remember it affecting X-Men quite as much. I mean, I guess they had the new, the new X-Men titles, but I didn't really get into those. And, yep, he needs a drink, and that's probably what I should have done. We'll just add some uh, booze to the picture, too, in honor of Tony Stark. <clears throat> Pull these down. Because we're getting a big pile. And that's the newer series, 28, 43. Nothing against the newer series. I just, they, Marvel was shaking up so much stuff at that time. I just wasn't, wasn't ready to get that financially invested into it. I stuck with the books I knew and just kind of backed out. And I don't feel bad about it. But it is really nice to go back and be able to get uh, so many of these that I didn't, I wasn't in a place financially to even get these. I mean, late 90s, do you realize how much you would have to spend every single month to get every single Marvel title that was coming out? Good night. And this is back when, yeah, cover price, $2.99. That's not even like the high point. Like this standard issue, that's a uh, $1.99. So you're looking at two bucks an issue. That added up quick. I know it's nothing like, like I'm whining about the price of comics, but shoot, shoot, modern comics are like four or five dollars. I can't even do it, man. I can't bring myself to it. Anyway, I think that's all 133 issues. That's a lot of Iron Mans, and I'm super happy to have them. Super glad that she sold them to me, and I'm glad that I can have somebody else's collection and take care of it like it's, well, it's mine now. I just, it means a lot, and I love sharing it with you guys. Love comics, and I thank everybody who keeps watching these videos, if you keep watching. Even if you haven't watched them and you're just thinking about watching them. I appreciate that too. Anyway, that's my story. I'll catch you guys later.